and welcome back everybody to another bow review. Today it's a box from Alibow. Uh, it's the Ming Emperor 3 for a patron member of mine. He ordered it and said, listen, you didn't do a video or a review of this bow for a while. Shall I ship it to you when you review it? Said, of course. So we get the Ming Emperor 3. Because the old video of the Ming Emperor is really old, so time to make an update, I guess. So, what do we get from Olipo? Na, 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 na. A bow and a string. And he ordered an extra string, but I don't know if it's in there. It's not in there. And it's in there. Let's hope so. Let's hope for the best. Two strings. So there are two strings in it. He ordered an extra string. So no extra point. I will pack it in nice and tightly again, don't worry. So the Now the bow. Ming Emperor 3 by Ali Bow. So of course, obviously from the Ming Dynasty. That's why it's called like this. And it's an interpretation of the bow of the Emperor Wan Li, which was active from 1565 to 1620. Yes, I'm so nerdy, I know. Oh, look at this. Nice. So you get a nice sleeve, bow and a string. No description, nothing. But look at this pretty color. Whoa, Ming Emperor. Huh? <laughs> Long time, no new Ali bow in my hands. Nice. And so, now, the bow, uh, I mean, information wise, it's still with Ali bow. The string length is 1 meter 36. This is what written on the website. It's 53.5 uh, inches. You can have this bow from 20 to 50 pounds. The max draw is 32 inches. And this bow is 40 pounds at 28. And the rest we don't know. 42 pounds at 28, okay. And 51 at 31. But the max draw is supposed to be 32, so we see. Where we end up, this inlays look nice. They look like perlmut, how do you call this? I don't know. Good, this is what I can tell you from here. Oh, God, I forget everything. Huh? I didn't do a review for a while. <laughs> from nook to nook. Let's do it properly here. Fifty-seven inches. Arrow pass is, I would guess, 22 millimeters if I have to. Luckily, I don't have to. 22. Yeah, you know. Former architect. What can you say? So now let's see what we have here. We have one string. And we have another string. So you get two strings. That's fine. Nice in red and black. I think he ordered them red or black or something. There is nothing longer or shorter. Pretty. So it's the Ming Emperor, as we know, with a nice color. The ends look a little here with this spine coming down here, a little like, like a Tatar or something. And then the small string pads here. And this long, nice string knocks, which makes your life easy. There's no pointy stuff and easy to knock in there. Leather rependel, as we know it. Let's see. Wee, 40. What did I say? 42 at 28. Nice. So, stringing of this bow is very easy. What we don't know is the brace height. There's nothing written on the website. Six and three quarter. I guess that's fine. You can have this bow obviously in various different colors, uh, combinations. And the price of this bow is 300 US dollar, free shipping. And I guess there's still, if it's your first order with Alibo, the voucher code Armin10, then you get 10% off. Nice, so this bow looks nice, is nice, feels good. What is missing? The weight. I need to do a bit more bow reviews again. I <laughs> no, kilos. I lost my mojo a little. 
fine by me. So it's a beautiful bow. I always like the Ming Emperor. Handle feels just, it's just nice. With the leather on it, nice. This bow doesn't wiggle. This bow in this direction. Yeah, it's okay. And in this direction, it's fine. So there's nothing to complain. Eight, 29, 30, 31, 32. So I don't know why they write no 31 inch, the max draw, uh, the poundage at 31 inches here. I think it's, it's really hard to read. 31, 51, but we see later when we put it on the tiller stock. Looks nice, so it's a really pretty ball. So these arrows are 32 inches, 32 and a half. So we wait a little until we come to full draw. Right now it's a little stiff, we need to shoot the bow in. This is what we do now. So no recommendation of arrow weight, but I guess nine to 10 grain will be fine. If the bow has 51 pounds and these arrows are 440, then you know what you get. Knocks easy, feels good. This bow feels simply good. Look at this, nice. A little shaky, a little vibration, but it will go away. Nice, nice. Really nice. They are 500 grain or a little more. The one with the big tip is 540. So this is then a little more than 10 grain. But this here is a little too long. And this one is 500 grain. <laughs> and it's fast, snappy fast. So right now you feel it a little, but I guess it will go away. This bow is straight and just simple, plain, beautiful. And the mosquitoes are eating me alive here today. Oi, oi, oi. But the things I do for my dear viewers, you know. <gasps> it's true, it's even saw. I said I didn't do it for a while, so calm down, guys. 28 is here, 39.9. But it's close enough to 41 because here we have a certain depth which varies with the handle depth. So we are not always exactly there where we maybe should be, but that you get a rough idea what this bow is doing at 30. Easy peasy, 44.3, and at 31, that would be here. We have 47, and at 32. Is here. 50.2, 50, 50 pounds, as expected. Now let's look at 28. Our ball looks nice. And because it's a long bow and the sear angle is not overly aggressive. No, look, we still have a little gap to play here. That's nice. 30. Huh? 30, yep. 30 with a string angle of 60 degrees. And then that would be 31. And this is 32. Easy peasy. And the draw is really smooth. Look at this pretty bow. So we have these knocks with this wide opening here. Nice. Then I said the, the sear itself looks a little like the Tatar and the Turkish bows from Adipo, even the string pad. So this is simply taken by them. And you have the nice layers, this nice, this red is really nice. Handle, as we know, these two inlays, they are a bit shiny on both sides, I like it. The golden emblem from Alipo. I mean, what he's doing for this price, can't complain, a really nice bow. 30 meters with the 440 grain. wobbly, but that was me.
Uh, wo ist das Vollklo? Nice. Die ist ein bisschen heavier und ein bisschen longer. Das baue ich uns aus. Nice. What I can show you will be part of the next video. These arrows are from my friend Mark Washtok. He is a patron student of mine and he wanted to do something good for me and he sent me arrows from America and they are simply, they have a dual weight uh, carbon. So they're until here. It's a different weight than back there and insane. So of course you can expect a video of these ones and they have 175 grain tips on it, 500 spine, 32 inches long, helical feathers and they are made by D&M custom arrows, simply pretty. So they are 465 grain. You will see an extra video about these ones. Ooh. Way to the left. <laughs> and they say they have 50% less oscillation and then they claim 50% more accuracy because of this. Yep, and I can see that and feel that already. Not there yet, but we get there. But back to the bow, simply awesome. 540, 500 grain. 166 with 540 grain. 175 with 500 grain. And they are 440. As it's not my bow, I don't want to go more lightweight. 182, 189, 201. <laughs> Nothing to complain with this bow. Only with these 440 grain, you feel it's still a little in the hand, but it's not annoying. Let you see the curves, I hold the bow completely upright, which I normally don't do. 32 inches, no problem. Oh, feels nice. Has a little short vibration in the hand. Oh, and works awesome. <laughs> On 20 meters. and then you know what this bow is doing. Still a slight wobble, let me shoot the other ones. Because last time somebody asked the question, why do you always test bows and not arrows? You say by yourself that the bow is not the most important thing, it's the arrows and he's right. Look at these arrows, heavy tip. Oh, what are you doing here? and big helical feathers. I'm st simply not there yet. I'm not focused today. I didn't shoot for a while. Oh, you hear that? So you see the difference already, but you will see them when I test these arrows with slow motion and everything. As the bow is not too long, obviously, this would be something for horse archery. And with this handle, look at this, it's easy to do your Shall I shoot three? Okay. <laughs> this way around, easy to. Nicer for me, for my taste. 
nice. Ooh, this Freddy the glove. It's not for rapid shooting. Oh, <laughs> nice. So this, you feel a little kick. You feel it for a little moment, but not a lot. And then one, two, three, four, five, six. So there is a little vibration going on. In this case, because the string has here the string pad and here, so the string is not dampened at all. Of course, silences would help, or maybe even, I don't know, hard string pads are always a little more prone to give a little more vibration back. If this would be a leather patch or a felt, it would be most probably a little less, but it's not annoying at all. So you feel this little kick, and like, yeah, nice. But of course I got from Mark not only three arrows, I got six of these ones, which are really nice. And I got six of these ones here. They are nano, I will tell you the names then when I do the video. These are thin ones with nice fletching. They are 500 and 600 spine. And he does this amazing fletchings. This is awesome. What is interesting on these shafts, they have outserts in stainless steel and then of course you can change your tip so the outside by itself weighs 100 grain and the tip is 40 so you have this chunk of 140 grain in front minimum of course you can put heavier tips on it even this 175 grain tip of the other arrows and you have 275 tip hunting arrows not bad i never shot these ones so that's why these are the 600 these are the 500 let's shoot the 600 first they are 440 grain ish let's see and they are really pretty strict needles and of course the benefit is when the diameter of the arrow is thinner you get the arrow closer to the center but they are now 40 uh, 34 inches so too long that's why i only finished three i have three more i might cut them so I think I don't need these ones in 40, uh, 34. Nice. So these were the 600 grain, and these are the 500 grain. So a little, a little stiffer. Uh, I tell you in the video. Oh, the sound of these arrows. Nice. Oh, I shoot bad today. Should have practiced before a bit. <laughs> yep, but I think these ones are my favorite ones. The destroyer, something, but I will tell you in the video. <laughs> Look at this. They just work. Bad job. Then it's the archer, not the arrow. So with this ones. You don't blame the equipment, you only blame the archer. Nice one, but it's about the bow. So, vibration got better. Nothing to complain here. But this thing is not so resistant as I thought. I scratched it up a little. But now you see that I shot it. <laughs> That's it. That's the Ming Emperor 3 by Ali Bow. A really nice bow. When 32 inches are just nice for you, you want to have it maybe safe for your horse. Here now it's nice rounded tips. A stable steady bow so even if you do a little torque or a little cutter or something it's no problem with this bow so this bow does really everything you want up to 32 inches max draw and it's not too long and it simply looks pretty uh, bow a string and a nice sleeve but that doesn't help either what was it bow string sleeve four points the handling this bow was out of the box very easy to string, so there's completely no problem even for a beginner. And the bow is straight and straight. So you see, I always do the steps through method. Straight, so it's no problem. They are stiff enough and flexible enough on the other side. So 10. Build. Let's check again because I thought I felt something there somewhere. Yeah. Because it's time for being picky. It's nice made. Look, this the glass here. It's really nice and shiny. 
but here this transition that's rough you can here this is straight and then you hear it and it's on both sides uh, they are not that much but they are affiliated too so there is a little it's a little rough here so finish is you can even see it here so the corner is not perfect so that's why but we look for perfection the rest is simply awesome so there's nothing to complain these transitions are just spot on <laughs> they're simply pretty nothing like <laughs> nice really really nice i only don't like these rough spots they don't affect the shooting or whatever but it's simply the finishing we're talking about the build quality hmm. but it's like this so give it nine Marshallay. Marshallay. Hmm. So, the basic feel, this bow doesn't wiggle, or not, it's, it's relatively stiff. And here it's stiff enough, and of course the string rests in a string bridge, so the chance that the string comes off is not really big. And the handle is just the perfect size, so it's, it's, you line it up, you hold it just nice. Bow has a little weight to it, then you feel it, the length, but it's nothing annoying. You can control this bow nice and easy. So that's why 10. Draw experience was, the first draw was a little stiff, but then all of a sudden, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32. There, then you feel it, but it's not sticking, nothing. So nothing to complain again, 10. And the shooting experience, in the beginning you had this a little, but the vibration went away. Now you feel simply the, this little bit of kick with lighter arrows. If you shoot 10 grain arrows, most probably there's no problem. So then you have 500, 10 grain or 500 grain arrows. Did I shoot 500? Yes. Then it's just fine. A little more lightweight Then you're maybe at 9 grain. It's fine too. You feel it a little, but it's totally not annoying. And I think it doesn't harm the bow. But they said, still on the website, no recommendation of grain per pound, which I would think would be very useful, especially when you know that a Keshik needs 12, I think, or 13, 12 grain per pound. So please, Alibo, write the grain per pound and the brace height on the website. Then you know directly what you get. Because then people ask me, what's the brace height of your Keshik? Mine is seven inches. And you always have a window from seven to seven and a half or eight inches or you know please give us a little more information not even i know it so it would be a bit helpful if we up there the, the online shop a little bit in this regards but where did we end up now shooting experience is just nice this bow is snappy it's smooth to draw and it's fast and checks all the boxes and it's beautiful it's it's 10. Then we get five points less, right? 55 out of 60, which is fine. And price value, $300, free shipping. For a bow like this is already awesome. And when it's your first order, you can put a voucher code ARMIN10 when you check out and you get even 10% off and it's $270. Free shipping, a laminated bow with this look. With this finish, we don't look at this one now, and with this performance, <laughs> doesn't get much better. So Ali Bo, really thank you for building these amazing bows. Thank you for existing. And yeah, that's it. Here we go. You hear it? Finally done. The church was ringing. I have to finish now because we are also like, church is starting now we need to stop i thank you very much for watching if you have any questions down there in the description box and for the rest stay safe take care i catch you in the next one